شكرا It is Wednesday, it is the 12th of June, it is just after 9am, I've just fed the dogs, I've been up since about 8, because as you can see I'm a little bit more put together than I normally am first thing in the morning, and I'm just about to have the vitamins. I started taking collagen, just got it on Amazon, and um, we'll see how that goes, because apparently it takes about 4-6 to six weeks to see any difference, but it's meant to like clump out your skin, and you know, bring back the elasticity, all that kind of stuff. As usual, I'm having severe fringe problems. And I'm just going to take all my vitamins and then I have to walk the dogs because they've had their breakfast. Today is quad day and I'm going to just take you through my training for quads because a lot of you ask about the fact that I'm quad dominant and I have quite strong quad muscles. A lot of people would think that when you train when you have big quads you should just stop training quads and concentrate on glutes and hamstrings and not focus on them at all, not have a focus day for quads. But I've tried that before and it didn't work. So I'm just going to take you through my workout today and show you that being quad dominant shouldn't result in you not training quads because they will just look flat, they look untoned and um, you should still train every body part regardless of how uh, big or dominant it is. You just have to kind of adjust your training for that body part. So for my quads I tend to go more high volume. I don't go as heavy as I possibly could go because I don't want to build up the strength but I do want to get that toned nice felt look in my quads and keep them looking full because you don't punish a body part because it is strong and dominant over the rest of your body you still have to train it so I'll do that later I'm gonna get it in this morning before breakfast then I'll have some breakfast might do a bit of a physique update for you guys I have to get my lashes done later they're looking pretty good but I get them done religiously every two weeks and Ursula, if you're in the kind of northern part of England, Ursula is, yeah, she is the best in the area. She has like won competitions and everything for her skills. Her last studio is amazing and I don't talk about it enough because she just has me looking on fleek all the time. The hair down, but it probably won't last being down. Look how long it is. Oh, it's getting cut next week because it's a little bit too long. Maybe different to there. That is the plan for the day. Take you through it. Come on, Bailey. So I'm out walking in a field, watching my dogs take dumps, as you do. I'm gonna go and have one of my muffins, and then I'm gonna go to the gym and hit up my quad and calf session. I only do one exercise for calves per week because I do have quite big calves so I don't necessarily have to grow them but again you do not ignore a body part just because it's dominant you still should train them. I do five sets, oh no I do six sets and I alternate the foot positioning just hit every kind of fibre but this is my cardio now. This great weather in the UK the dogs are getting great big walks because we're not worried about getting wet and stinky but hopefully we'll find a house soon and we'll move and they'll have a whole new routine. Good girls. What you doing, Lex? Can't Why is it? Pressure washer. For what? It's so powerful, you could kill a pug. But you're not going to. <laughs> Disclaimer. Pug. I'm Frenchy, still intact. I promised you a treat, so I'll get you one. We're having fun. Lex is out, power washing his car. I want to share this with you. It is amazing. It is the chocolate coconut almond blend from Cliffy Farms. I picked it up in Sainsbury's and it has really good macros because most of them if you have chocolate milk it adds in the carbs but this is 1.9 fat 4.4 carbs per 100 ml I've just been adding it to my coffee and it kind of gives it a mocha kind of taste
Shorty, put them drinks up. Put them up. There's some left, you better drink up. Drink, drink it on X. Oh, you wanna know why? Watch, cause we all gon' bounce. bounce. Now the sun gon' down. Don't say money, cause we go all out. Say money. I ain't know I'm gon' flex. Pull it back, back, back it on. We all gon' bounce. bounce. Now the sun gon' down. Don't say money, cause we go all out. Yeah, back it on X like a biggie. Big. Money, more problems, but I still make a million. Nah, I get Workout complete. I'm going to feel it tomorrow. It is a good quad burn. And to be honest, I'm pretty sore. This is my third day in a row training. I'll probably take tomorrow off. I am currently training five days per week. So I do leg day, upper body day, leg day, upper body day, leg day. And then I need to take rest and go back into leg day again. But my third leg day, as I've shown before in previous videos, so go check it out if you want to. Um, I am doing a more dynamic day on my third day. So the first day is a glute and hamstring focus. Second leg day is whew, a bit out of breath. Second leg day is a calf and quad focus. And then the third leg day is where I'm moving a lot more. It is kind of trying to target the underbutt, the glute hammy tie-in area, but it is kind of more movement to try and, I don't know, tone up the back of my legs and just get myself moving a bit more rather than just kind of stagnant weight training. My upper body days now are split. I used to do biceps and triceps on the first day and then, um, shoulders and back on the second day but I felt I felt like shoulders and back is kind of big day whereas I find biceps and triceps kind of an easier day so now I've split it into it's really warm actually I've split it into um, triceps and shoulders on my first day and my second day is biceps and back and I find that more enjoyable so if you're kind of stuck in a rut with your training don't be afraid to change it up and just change things around a bit as you saw I just did four exercises sometimes I'll add in an abductor exercise as well on my quad day but it is hard to target your quads without doing squats and I don't want to do squats because I've injured my lower back before and I'm just really wary of doing squats and to be honest squats kind of train everything it's glutes quads a bit of everything so I'm just going with what I'm training right now and I'm really enjoying it if you have any suggestions for other exercise that I could be doing to help my quads and um, obviously I'm not trying to grow them I'm just trying to tone them up hit me up down in the description box I appreciate all your feedback because we're all trying to learn from each other here on YouTube it's not about me knowing anything more than anyone else I'm just sharing what I'm doing and what I enjoy to do with my training and this is the kind of training that I enjoy to do so that's why I'm sticking with it when I get sick of it I change it up that's about it you have to enjoy your training otherwise you won't stick with it and you'll get bored and you'll end up quitting the gym and not being fit I'm gonna go back home now because all I've had is a protein muffin and a coffee so I want to get some breakfast slash brunch into me before I go and get my lashes done and then in the afternoon I might do a quick physique update for you guys and kind of go through where I'm at with my diet because I've been kind of talking about training all morning so I'm gonna go through what my diet's about at the moment what weight I I'm sitting at and maybe what future plans I have. So breakfast is a slice of black pudding, 100 grams of egg whites with some of the eat lean protein cheese that I get from muscle food and then we have some protein toast with marmite and Lex is going for full eggs, three eggs and I've added in some cottage cheese and some feta that makes it super fluffy and creamy and then he also has got a 
piece of black pudding. So Lex is playing around with increasing his fats. My fats have also increased um, this week. Just due to my binge last week, my coach felt like increasing my calories might help keep me a bit more satiated. I feel that my binge was more related to my mood and the fact that I was feeling really down rather than anything to do with food because I actually didn't struggle really in my prep at all. So um, we're just gonna test it out for a week. My weight has pretty much remained the same. I've been at 118 pounds for the past two weeks and there's been, it actually dropped by a half a pound since I come back from London. So that's with increase in food. So we'll see, that could be a good sign. For the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be continuing with slightly higher calorie intake. And then we may be looking at doing another prep depending on how I fare over the next couple of weeks. I haven't, it's set in stone right now, but I would like to compete again about October time. So we're gonna see how we go. I am feeling a lot more positive, mentally, physically, everything. So that is a big factor when you go into prep, you have to be mentally ready for it, as opposed to just physically. It can be a mental strain, and the biggest part of it is getting over those steps inside your head rather than anything else. So I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast now and then I have to nip to get my lashes done. These are my improved lashes, just an infill. And I always fall asleep, always. I'm like chatting and then the next minute I'm like unconscious and snoring. I wake up to myself snoring every time I get my lashes done. But she's probably used to me now. So now I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna go and Something to eat, I'm a bit hungry. All that sleeping. Where's he out? Roxy. Rox? Rox? Come up here. Rox? See, Bailey will look at the camera. Rox? Bailey? Good girl. Oh, you're so stubborn. You're so stubborn. So I'm going to have one of my coffees. I put in the coconut almond milk and I'm going to have one of these vanilla Kvarg high protein yogurts with some of this max protein granola that I got from Muscle Food. It's really good just to snack on. I swear I'm putting it on top as well. Mm -hmm. I make it all fancy by putting it in a culinary jar but you can just keep it in a box. They're available on Muscle Food and it's really good. So I'm just going to take you through a quick physique update. Just to update you guys on what I'm looking like. I'm not stage shredded anymore. I've softened off a bit, but I'm accepting the way I look because I don't look in any way bad and I'm super healthy. And if you let negativity get in, then you look at yourself and see negatives. Then it kind of gets in on top of you and it just takes over. So you have to start seeing the positives and roll with it. lovely dry summer day Lex and I I'm gonna put some pants on and then Lex and I are going to walk the dogs have a big long walk like we did earlier and um, maybe go to the pub have a glass of wine and enjoy the summer evening it's all about balance guys do not sacrifice time with your family having a glass of wine here or there um, meals out things like that don't sacrifice that just because you're on a diet Yes, sacrifices have to be made, but quality time with your family and friends should not be sacrificed at all. I'm gonna leave it here. 
hope you enjoyed the vlog if you have any comments any feedback please comment below make sure to hit the like button because interaction on the channel is so important if you want to push me as a youtuber and help me out please hit the like button give me a thumbs up let's get this video a serious amount of thumbs up and a serious amount of positivity to help push me on youtube and as well follow me on my other social medias instagram is messing with us all right now it's not pushing our photos into our feeds so turn on those notifications if you can for all the people you follow on instagram because they're messing with it they're messing with the whole organic reach of Instagram so people that you may follow and want to see their content is not coming up in your feed so make sure to turn on the notifications and if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe love you guys Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, buy them all the parents, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would party, and we would dance, and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to clouds. Yeah, I got you now, if I only had a hundred fans. Life's too short to be an asshole.